Hello from the other side! What's going on champs? Welcome back to the channel. I have your results for Monday Night Raw 13 nights away from Wrestlemania. By the way guys, I just want to let you guys know that there'll probably be, well there won't be any uh, live commentaries next week. Next week Raw is going to be in Brooklyn and I will be attending but I will have up on the channel when I get home a results video. Alright, so let's start off with Stephanie McMahon starts off Raw in Philly and she's interrupted by Roman Reigns who, you know, they're cutting a promo. He's letting, he's letting her know that he's going to beat Triple H at WrestleMania in their ring, in their house, and he's going to take the title back. Uh, Stephanie tries to slap him and Roman Reigns actually blocks it. And uh, yeah, that's how we start off Raw. First match of the night was awesome, was spectacular. Uh, Kevin Owens versus AJ Styles. It was beautiful. There was actually a beautiful frog splash by Kevin Owens to AJ Styles. It was phenomenal. It was phenomenal. Uh, really perfect spots. I didn't want this match to end. They could have just let it go on the whole entire night and I would have been okay with that. Uh, but Jericho does come out with his creepy AJ Styles and it creeps me out when he does it. Uh, but the distraction has a roll up and Kevin Owens picks up the win against AJ Styles. Uh, after this we have New Day and they are roasting the League of Nations and uh, it was really funny It was like talking about their trash. You are trash. Shame is Seamus. Shame. Uh, bootios. Gotta, you know, have your bootios for breakfast. But it, it was a match between Big E and Rusev and big ending for the win. There was lots of chaos and distraction around the ring though for the entire match. Um, after this we have Big Show in the ring and he is hyping up the Andre the Giant Battle Memorial Royale for Wrestlemania and he's saying that you know he's the big guy and he's got to be the one that wins and this is going to be the year that he's going to win and he gets interrupted by Social Outcast and uh, actually Social Outcast get the upper hand four versus one and they uh, take down the Big Show but then Kane's pyro hits, Kane's music hit, he comes out and uh, he clotheslines and throws Social Outcast over the ring and Big Show's like, yeah, my man. He climbs the ropes and he's like, yeah, we took out Social Outcast. And then Kane's like, nah, bruh, I don't think so. And he tosses him off the top rope. So we'll see what happens. Uh, then we have Jericho versus Fandango, a WrestleMania 29 rematch. I was actually at that WrestleMania in MetLife Stadium in New Jersey when Fandango won that match. But um, AJ Styles comes out and he comes out Y2 Jack. Yeah, we're going to keep PG on the channel because uh, my mom watches my videos and so do my little cousins. But uh, yeah, <laughs> he comes out and says that. Um, and what happens? What happens? Oh, a code breaker to Fandango and Jericho does pick up the win even though the distraction from AJ Styles. So, good to know, good to know. So we have uh, Kevin Owens. He's talking to Stephanie McMahon backstage a little earlier and he says that he wants to set up a triple threat match to see who will face him at Wrestlemania for the Intercontinental Championship title, but he sets it up with Stardust, Sin Cara, and Zack Ryder, but who comes out during the match, of course, Sami Zayn, Dolph Ziggler, and The Miz. Uh, there's a DQ, there's a brawl, and it was chaos, but we do find out there will be a ladder match at Wrestlemania, so that should be fun and interesting. After this, we have a Divas match between Charlotte and Natty. Natural selection for the win. Charlotte picks up the win. Then after this we have Bubba versus Truth and the Dudley boys win but out comes Goldust and then out come the Usos and then the Dudley boys retreat so I don't know if this is gonna be some kind of like tag team matchup at Wrestlemania but we'll, we'll see what happens there. Then we have Vince McMahon coming out and saying he has a stipulation for Wrestlemania and that if Taker loses this will be his last match at Wrestlemania really you're making that call now like if he loses and Shane becomes the owner and is running the biz maybe he wants to bring like Undertaker back like why okay well whatever so we, we get that stipulation uh, and then for the main event we have Dean Ambrose versus Braun Strowman and Dean Ambrose outside the ring he takes a chair to Braun Strowman DQ but then he takes out the entire Wyatt family well he backs them off with the chair uh, dirty deeds to Braun Strowman on to the steel chair in the ring and looking at Paul Heyman on that announcer's table that he's coming for the beast. Um, my 
favorite match of the night by far was the Kevin Owens versus AJ Styles match. I really hope that Raw is gonna like be crazy next week for Monday Night Raw. I'm super excited that I'm gonna be going. And uh, yeah, uh, let me know what you guys thought about it and I'll see you champs in the next one. Thank you for joining me. Oh, noodle arms. <laughs> Bye, champs.